Welcome back to match number two between uh, Jeremy Tracy and Simon Dowrick. The way we do things here in the Battle of the Basement is that whoever wins one game, they start the next game, which in essence gives the gives the other person the hammer advantage in that first round. So that's just, uh, just how we do it here in the Tracy household. In that first match, Jeremy pulled out a victory 5-3 to oh. three in their four-round battle, and now we're off to a good start. In uh, the second match, Jeremy's off to a great start. Simon was the first to miss an open 20, which Jeremy took advantage of. He's now up uh, four 20s to three. He's uh, catching a groove with his open 20 shooting here. And Simon with just one miss. He's doing quite well in the open 20s as well. Simon with another miss that's uncharacteristic to him. and uh, But, yeah, some days those um, open 20s yeah, just elude a player. Mm. Now, he is in deep. Jeremy's got a 220 advantage, so basically he has to create a 20 out of this shot in order to have any chance, which he does, and that seals the deal on this round. And uh, Jeremy just puts a comfortable shot behind the pegs to win this first round. So he's up 2-0 in match number two of the day oh, yeah. between these two uh, combatants. He's been doing this circuit, you do 10 by 10s. Sometimes I hear people say that a, a 20s race is kind of boring, and, and maybe it is to watch, but I can tell you when the two players are going back and forth, if you're one of those players that's in a 20s race, and with each with each successful 20, the pressure goes up uh, a little bit more, a little bit more, because the later in the round it is, if you're the first to miss the 20, is definitely uh, a huge disadvantage the deeper in the round that it is. So. Simon going for a bounce back 20, unfortunately bounce, uh, unfortunately for him bounces all the way back to his side of the board. And in some ways, this is a really good position for Jeremy. On the other side of it, it does give Simon an opportunity to try to hide behind a peg. And just the position of this button, Simon would be very hard pressed to get an angle in for any sort of a chance at a 20. He does have a pretty deadly follow through. So let's see what he does here. Oh, no. I do think he was going for that follow through, but unsuccessful opens the door Jeremy drains that 20 so Simon is definitely in a bad spot in this in this round he tried to make something out of nothing there coming back from a peg yeah, I think Jeremy was trying to roll away and not give Simon any yeah he just said get away talking to his disc but uh, did oh he left Simon a bit of an opportunity for a touch 20 which Simon was not able to capitalize on yeah, he probably would have liked to keep that shooter on to have even more pressure on Simon with a 20 advantage as well as two on. But again, Simon going for that bounce back. It just wasn't the best position for it. So Jeremy up another 20, really putting the pressure on. Now Simon's finding his range on the open 20s. Oh, he got that. The dagger. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, man, I need to... It's 4-1. Jeremy is 4-1 in the 20s. Jeremy is up 4-0 in this round. And, uh, yeah. Through the last number of months, I know Simon has spent a lot of time working on his open 20s. Different people have seen him play comment on the uh, Mark Boot would refer to that as the spider, the Simon Spider-Man, the way he positions his fingers. But uh, you cannot question the success rate because yeah, he's, he's a little bit off right now. I suspect we'll see him bounce back soon with his open 20 shooting. But in this round, he's, uh, he's on the wrong side of the 20s race because he's got one in the gutter. And uh, yeah, there's four, four 20s in a row for Jeremy. Thought that was gonna miss. Both of them finding finding their groove here for open twenties. Such a critical skill if you really oh. want to compete in a in a crokinole match. Because I tell you, when you're sitting across from somebody that just will not miss on a twenty, they are so oh, tough to beat. It just uh, it puts the pressure on in every way. Ooh. Let's see here. Jeremy drains the perfect round. It's not quite a unicorn because you do see it once in a while, but I tell you what, it's still darn satisfying. When you drain eight in a row in a round, it feels pretty good. And even uh, what feels even better is being up six nothing in this match. So they're going into the going into the final round of this, and uh, Simon starts. So Jeremy even has the hammer for this final round. So. 
Thanks, thanks. Hey, mama. Oh, still uh, hey, Elaine, still on birthday? form with the 20s? Yeah. I was supposed to come here, but uh, I got hijacked by my boss. I think Simon just asked Mrs. Tracy, Elaine, to oh, come no, in and distract hair. Jeremy to try to, to try to break his rhythm. Heard a little bit of heard a little bit of chatter there. Oh, what a fantastic rollout that was! Basically forcing Simon to peel in order because yeah, there was no chance for him to do anything with it other than peel and, and force play back to the middle. I don't know. This is going to be tough for Simon. That uh, yeah. you know, there's the the drop back um, twenty, but that is yeah, just far back. enough away that it's going to be so tough to hit. Yeah. And uh, I think what Simon went for was to try to ricochet, uh, go off that button, oh, and then off a peg to bring it back. And I don't think Jeremy meant to roll in there, but the way he's got himself positioned, oh, sort of in front of that peg, still does not give Simon much to work with. <gasps> And yeah, Simon did not get the off, so he's really in deep at this point. But uh, oh, Jeremy is obviously feeling good with his shots to go for that follow through twenty. When it really, yeah, he could have definitely taken a more conservative approach. And yeah, he hit the perfect ground and he hit a hit a skunk game. So uh, stay tuned because I, uh, I can pretty much guarantee you Simon's going to find his rhythm and uh, and spin this around. That, that's the great thing about playing multiple rounds against the multiple games against a, the same opponent is it helps you really uh, develop some skill, bounce back from some some tough sledding. So uh, see you in the next match.